1995, I shot this film for my film project in school. People said I was crazy. Tell me I'm not. Hi, this is Chuck Stevens with Vox Television, live in front of the Federal Building in Los Angeles, California, where the President of the United States is in town for the Pacific Rim Conference. The President is about to give a very important speech. I'm sorry, we just got the live audio. We take you now to the President of the United States. We have just made one of the biggest breakthroughs for mankind. Top scientists in the government have discovered a cure for all diseases of humankind. Now we can start saving lives and build a new America. What's this? What's what? Look, it's happening. What's happening? This is way too weird. Don't say it until you say it. Shh, All of our government officers will be going from house to house to give everyone the new shot. You and your family members can have it for free. Oh my God, what's next? This is too weird. No. Does this mean what I think it means? There will be absolutely no cost for the shot. Also, at the same time, we will be giving each one of you an identification card. This will help ensure us as to who has had the shot, so we do not repeat shots on anyone. What are we going to do? What's this about a natural identification card? And how can they just do this? This is way, way too weird. Shh, shh, listen. It will only take one minute of your time for a lifetime of protection. Both the FBI and the CIA have discovered various terrorist plots to use germ warfare against the American public. We can stop these terrorist attacks. Rather a lifetime of tracking. I'm scared. Today, I will be sending special government teams to every city. Fast. We must tell all the people we can what's really going on now. Annie, put the word on the internet and all the news groups. Tell the people not to take the shot and to go underground. How can we all go underground? What are we going to do? 
Where can we hide? Where can we go? What can I do? Annie, you're freaking out. Stop it. Come on, let's go. We've got work to do. I know, but what about my family? Just call them and tell them not to take the shot and to go underground. Do not be afraid. We must come together to battle disease. We will come to your house, your work, or you can receive the shot at one of our storefront locations on the street. The shot will leave a little mark on your right hand to let our hot workers know that you've gotten the shot. It's simple, it's painless, and most of all, it will save billions of lives from the rash of recent plagues we are now facing. What mark on your hand? Are they Nazis? I don't want a mark on my hand. That fucking else needs to be shot. Maybe we can find someone who has the shot and get a tattoo like it or something. You know, make them think we took the shot. Don't you think they already thought of that? The government will be sending hot teams all over the states, cities, and roads checking for the mark on your hand. Because this is the only way to ensure the health of everyone, all those who do not have the mark are in grave danger of catching the various new diseases and also present a danger to others of spreading disease. So those who do not have the mark will be arrested for their own as well as the public's safety. Arrested? What the fuck is going on? What about the Constitution? Look at the Bill of Rights! Fuck the Bill of Rights! I'm not getting... I don't care. I don't believe them. I mean, what about the Amish or Christian side? I'm not getting it either. What about the faith healers? What faith healers? I saw it on 60 Minutes. Fuck 60 Minutes, they're just the same. They're gonna say it's a good idea. I say it's bad. It's really bad. You assholes. I can't believe it. It's like what happened in Armenia in 1915. What happened? You were so dense sometimes. Genocide of one and a half million by the Turkish? What happened by the Turkish? What do you mean? Did they get killed or something? Yes, something like that. I think that's what genocide means, Anna. Who's coming? Oh, shut up, Annie. It's not the end of the world. It's only some asshole trying to control the whole world. Well, good thing I bought those throwaway guns. I'm not going to push. I hope you know how. Remember last year in sociology class, Miss Fisher told us about a plot to take over the government and form a new kind of government? Without the people knowing or caring, it could be done. This is just that way of separating people in a group. Just like the Nazis did. Those were the more who walked down the street. Those wearing the yellow star moved directly into the ghetto. Divide and conquer. Only well, this time, they have a medical reason to separate us. We might catch something. Most people are so stupid. They'll get the shot without even realizing they're being implanted with a GPS chip. Do you remember what happened to the professor? The next week, she disappeared. And what happens if you are arrested? You can go for a hearing in front of a government board that will review your case.